our website every month and yet only 7,000 of them are customers. That means that our own market is huge and I, I love smart marketing like this, set highly targeted marketing like Market 8 did here and they're speaking directly to other in, inbound marketers and saying, hey, partner with us, use some of our solutions to make the most out of your HubSpot experience if you're a partner or just a customer. So you want to check out Mar Market 8, they're down in Atlanta. They are very legit, They've, they're very process oriented, and they've got some awesome things they're doing with website templates too for, for HubSpot, so check them out for sure. Um, but yeah, this is just like, you know, I mean, t talk about my persona, it says, you know, in like, you, know, you know inbound, so you know the drill, what to do next, QR code, the whole deal, very classy there, Eduardo. <clears throat> some folks, let's see, who else was great to see? It was great to see David Wells, another uh, HubSpot alum who's, who was a consultant, a good friend of mine who's moving out to San Francisco. David, it's great to see you, and uh, you know I wish you the best for your agency inbound now. And I'm looking forward to doing some guest uh, guest uh, video interviews for your website and your podcast, your weekly biweekly video podcast at Inbound Now. So uh, you know, hope the rest of the conference went well for you, man, David Wells. And uh, here's some folks I didn't see at the conference that I probably should have seen, but it was so crazy over there, guys. I mean, I'm sure I think I might have just left some names out of some folks I did meet already. So you can imagine. Uh, having worked with over 100 accounts since I started here at HubSpot, you know, just almost, you know, a little over a year and a half ago, there was a lot of folks to see. So again, sorry I missed these folks, but I want to give a shout out. Let's catch up. Shout out to UBM Cannon. Now, I did run into some folks from UBM Cannon, but I didn't get to see Tracy, Tracy Peden, uh, who I worked in the trenches with on some of your first uh, pilot accounts with HubSpot. So Tracy, let's catch up. I hope you had an awesome time at Inbound 2012, and I want to hear what some of your favorite keynotes were and if you have any key takeaways and stuff. So let's catch up, Tracy. And then shout out to Digital Sherpa. Uh, they, were, they were another uh, reseller agency that I helped onboard uh, you know, a while back now, six or eight months, and uh, now look at them. They're, they're a, they're a spot. They were a sponsor of Inbound 2012. They were a presenter. So all the folks at Digital Sherpa, thanks so much for your support and for help, helping sponsor our, our uh, conference here, and I look forward to catching up with you because I'm sure you're doing big things. You're already presenting here with us, so that's uh, you know six or eight months in. That's pretty good. Uh, a shout out to the folks at Vision PR and Marketing. I uh, didn't have a chance to catch up with you, but I know you were in the house. Hope you had a good time. Shout out to John Hyman, who uh, both him and I were trying to link up, man, and uh, you know uh, just just didn't quite make it happen, John. So I still owe you that beer. Uh, it's going to happen, and you're only just down there in New Jersey, so uh, it's now it's a good excuse for you to come back up here to HubSpot and have some free beer on, on Friday for, for the Inbound Marketing Update video podcast we do. Let's say that. Come up on Friday. We'll get you some free beer, all right? And, and obviously, we'll catch up. That's the, the point shouldn't be the beer, right? It's, it's the camaraderie, all that good stuff. Come on up. Okay, and uh, let's see. And I want to give a special highlight to a couple of ours who told me by the end of this conference, they were so fired up, they pledged me they want to be the best, the number one VAR. So keep your eyes out, folks, for these up-and-coming VARs who are shooting to be number one leaders in the program and probably presenting at Inbound 2012 next year if, uh, if, if, they, you know, if they follow through on what they said. I want to shout out to Tempo Creative and Josh Dolan, who's the founder there. I spent all, spent all week with Josh. It was a pleasure to hang out with you, Josh, and get to know more about how you grew your agency uh, just from working in your loft all the way up to 30 people out there in Phoenix, Arizona. You guys are making it happen. Uh, now you just need to, to tie in, get that sales process going. So Tempo Creative, they're on the map. They want to be the best VAR. They want to set the, set the tone. Uh, so now we're going overseas. I wanted to say it was a pleasure uh, to meet uh, you know, a few just superstars of inbound marketing up and coming. Um, Bob, Verity, and Will from itpr.co.uk, and I know you guys rebranded to a new name that I don't even know about yet, but Bob, Verity, and Will, it was a pleasure meeting you guys last night. You're part of the reason I have this hoarse voice, and I'm so exhausted because we were staying up late just talking about inbound marketing, man. We're having a good old time, and I know you guys said you want to be number one leader of the pack. That's how you run your business, and I respect that. So let's look out for Bob, Verity, and Will, who are going to be trying to lead this pack in the next coming year. Let's give them your support. So thank you guys for, for putting it out there. You want to be leaders. That's, that's the stuff that us inbound marketing consultants is just music to our ears. We want to help raise up marketing leaders and inspire all the other customers to do the same. So, mm -hmm. let's see. Key takeaways. I'm sure you guys all had some key takeaways from the concert, con concert from the conference. Uh, my favorite speaker was Marcus Sheridan by far. If you guys didn't have a chance to see Marcus Sheridan's session, they will be emailing out a link. Next week, the marketing team will be emailing out links to all of the PowerPoints, 
and all of the video that was recorded, all the sessions were recorded. So if you missed something like Marcus Sheridan, uh, definitely get look out for that email coming in your inbox from our marketing department next week. Marcus Sheridan was incredible because this if you guys haven't seen this guy, uh, he is so passionate just about inbound marketing. Not just he's not passionate about inbound marketing, he's passionate about helping people teach and communicate. Uh, with their target audience, and it just so happens that uh, he uses HubSpot and inbound marketing to do that. So I really like, first of all, that whole that whole approach. But uh, yeah, Marcus Sheridan was just incredible. He was like yelling and screaming the entire time uh, through his keynote for like a, for like an hour in this room. But people were loving it. He was just fired up, very engaging. And maybe I've got a sound bite or two. Let's see. Uh, man, where is it? Inbound 2012. Well. I'm not going to make you guys watch as I search through that. But Marcus Sheridan, very exciting. Okay, and if you want to check out more about what he does, and he's got a great, he's got a free book on his website, it's thesaleslion.com. Thesaleslion.com, one word. All right. <clears throat> so uh, big big key takeaway I got from Marcus Sheridan was that uh, his, his big success with his own business and then with the clients he now consults to on how to do HubSpot and inbound marketing right is just to answer uh, at least a hundred of the most common questions that people ask you um, all the time about your product or service or your business and just kind of give away those answers on your website for your blog like that's a great blogging strategy uh, if you had a hundred questions and you wrote two every week that would be enough blogging for a year it's not making it more complex than that in terms of what you write about for that first year but that was really great but he had a he had a great blogging session too with seven things seven different types of blog posts you could write and, and when you answer those questions and so definitely check that out um, in the uh, in the, the, the recap uh, the links that we're going to send you next week. All right, some key resources. So one of the, the biggest things that, that happened at HubSpot 2012 was the unveiling of HubSpot 3. And this is the biggest product release. This is the biggest thing that's happened at HubSpot in our entire company history. I knew that before I went into the, uh, the keynote Wednesday morning. They shut down our entire company. They bust all 400 plus people uh, over to the Heinz Convention Center. And Brian and Darmesh, also said this is the biggest moment of like their lives. I mean, the the product has completely been upgraded and overhauled. Many of you have already seen some of those features, but you didn't see everything until Wednesday morning. So there's like ten new apps, uh, or at least several that were that were upgraded. There's over a hundred new features in the product, and these things are all basically available like right now. If you're a HubSpot customer, they're available inside your portal. Uh, if you want to learn more about just those features in general, go to HubSpot.com. The whole web front homepage is now completely updated to give you a tour of the product. And if you want to find out how do I get those tools for myself or what tools do I get, just log into your HubSpot. That's the only thing you need to do. We try to make it not complex for you to find this information. I know that's, a, that's probably a change of pace from what you're used to. But if you log into HubSpot, on the dashboard, on the top of the dashboard, there's going to be a message that will take you over to something called like the Migration Center. It will tell you what do you have, what don't you have, what do you need to do to get it. All right, so that's all you have to do. It's not that complex. Go to HubSpot.com, learn about the tools, log into your HubSpot, click on the link at the top of your dashboard to go over and find out what you have to do next to get everything. Okay, so those are key resources. Like I said, PowerPoints and videos are coming next week from the marketing department for everybody who attended. If you didn't, I don't know, you might be out of luck, okay? Uh, those folks who did pay to go to the conference will have access to these videos, but I'm assuming we'll probably end up putting everything up on SlideShare anyways. You know, we typically do that. So those are some key resources, key follow-ups. Uh, what should you do next? Definitely, if you're still in consulting right now, get with your consultant. Start making a game plan to build on the momentum and the ideas that you that you got from Inbound 2012. Find out how about find out how you can apply those in your HubSpot. Start making a plan, even if you're out of consulting. Um, <clears throat> also, if you are a value-added reseller, you should come and sign up for our new VAR-only training. We've come up with ten new webinars at least that we're launching uh, in September for you guys. Just all about. Uh, being successful as a value-added reseller for HubSpot. And I'm personally leading the orientation class, so the first class that you ever take. And then I'm also leading a brand new type of uh, webinar that we're putting on. It's bi-weekly, every, every other Thursday at 2 p.m. It's called the Partner Success Workshops. And we are going to be bringing some of the best VARs who have gone through onboarding, who are kicking butt in different parts of the tool, who are kicking butt selling HubSpot, who are kicking butt just in growing and scaling out their businesses. And we're going to bring them on, let them talk for a few minutes about what's working for them, and then we're just going to open up the floor and let you VARs ask each other questions and share experiences. It's a, it's a session that's all, all about VARs, celebrating success, and achievement at all levels of being a partner and onboarding with HubSpot and allowing you guys to talk with each other 
and we're going to get out of the way. So that's the Partner Success Workshops. It's every other week on Thursdays. Definitely want to sign up and attend those. Even if you've already gone through onboarding, you're allowed to come and attend those. all of those webinars I mentioned, especially the Partner Success Workshops. Um, all right, so what I'd like to know is basically I'm going to put some photos up here. Those are some of the folks that I saw. Who did you meet? What were some awesome photos that you took? Uh, please share them up here as well. I'd love to see if, we, if I missed anything or if there's any cool, goofy photos. Please put them up here and share, and let's put together a, a big album. And I uh, hope to see you all, all you guys next year. If you didn't come this year, I don't want to say that was a mistake, but you definitely missed out on some amazing stuff. And it's going to be a whole other year until you're going to have that amazing gathering of marketers. It's obviously going to be bigger and better next year. Next August, Heinz Convention Center in Boston. August 19th through the 22nd, mark your calendars now, make a commitment to be there because you can get three months worth of work and training and networking done in three days. And that's basically what it feels like to me. I'm totally worn out, but it was so worth it. It was great to meet all of you guys in person. Thanks so much for coming and being a part of this internet marketing revolution that we're doing. And let's all go out and make marketing that people love. Yeah.